you mentioned the Jim Carrey quote, and it seemed like you were really taken with that. And that's the only quote that you mentioned in the presentation. So I was just curious uh, where, where you found that and why it resonated with you so deeply. I didn't know this either, but Jim Carrey um, is is pretty woke. <laughs> he um, he did a lot of comedy videos, but um, he himself, wow, the glare is super strong. I apologize for that. Um, wow, how can I block this? <laughs> I guess I can't. Um, so Jim Carrey had a crazy backstory. His father was going with a safe office job and um, you know, the same story, security for the family. He was actually a really talented comedian. And Jim Carrey actually has a lot of his talent from him, but he decided to go the safe um, accounting route. And then one day he got fired from his job and the whole family was homeless and living in a van in Canada, including Jim Carrey. So he saw his father grow, or he grew up with his father um, going for what he thought was the safe route, only to find that it was an illusion. And he actually ended up being homeless. So Jim Carrey said, I don't want to be like that. And um, one of the motivations for him to become a comedian was to actually cheer up his family. You know, when, when you're homeless, you can really use a good laugh from time to time. So he really worked hard to pursue his passion and, and do it for his dad because his dad could have been probably just as famous as Jim Carrey. And then when two years before his first breakthrough, Jim Carrey, similarly to me, kind of standing on top of the world in Laguna Beach and saying, hey, I want to live here, even though it was like, how am I going to do that? I'm not even a citizen. I don't, I live in a different country. Similarly, Jim Carrey had a similar experience where right before his breakthrough, he wrote himself a check for $5 million uh, for acting service rendered. And two years later, a, a few days before that check ran out, he got a check uh, for that amount for his first big breakthrough, I think, Ace Ventura. And so he's a big believer of the law of manifestation and he's a proof that it works. You know, he just had such a strong conviction and visualization in what he wanted and it came to every single bit of it. And then later on, I think he had a girlfriend and the girlfriend committed suicide. So that again, really brought him into a quest for his spirituality and just, I think, deepened his understanding.